Come get it. Come get it. Come get it. What's up, guys? Today I got some unstoppable dribble moves for tight defense. You got a defender playing you tight, playing pressure. That's like one of the best opportunities for you to score if you've got the right moves down. So today I'm gonna make sure you've got the moves you need to make that happen. So when someone comes and tries to play you tight, game over for them. They're gonna think twice about that. So next time you come down the court, they're gonna give you a little space and they drop back. Now you open up jump shots, you start hitting jump shots. Now they don't know what to do, right? No matter what they do, you're gonna be beating them. Let's jump into it. Okay, so the first move I'm gonna show you is Pretty simple, you gotta put a little practice in to get it down, but it's highly, highly worth it. When you've got a defender that's trying to play pressure on you, trying to go after the basketball a lot, you gotta be ready. So whether she reaches with this arm or with this arm, this is a great option. The footwork is key though. When she's going for that basketball, if I know she's like a, a super aggressive defender, or just is up in my space, I'm gonna pull that ball behind the back, but what I do from there is big, and how I do that behind the back is big. This is a great opportunity. If she's this close and she's really going for the basketball, this behind the back is a great opportunity for me to get past her and beat her, right? But a lot of times, like defenders that are aggressive, they're gonna, they're like hounds. They're gonna be nonstop going after that basketball. So even if I do this, she's gonna try to get back up in my space and steal it right here, right? So how do you deal with that? One simple step, literally. So when I go from behind the back here, Couple things I wanna do. First of all, I wanna make sure I step with this foot. I dribbled with this hand, I wanna step with this foot. Now you could also do like a shuffle, but when you're talking about to just try to blow by your defender, stepping with this foot is the better option. Now, if you'll notice, when I step with this foot, what do I got? Protection over the basketball. But if I just went like this, where's the basketball? Cookies, that's where it is, cookie land. So we want to make sure we step with this foot so now I got protection, I can get this arm involved, get out of here, you're not taking that. The other thing I want to do is make sure I'm pushing that basketball far enough forward. So when I do this dribble, I want to think about wrapping it so it kind of hits, my, my hand hits my opposite side, butt or hit. So if I do that, now I'll push the ball more forward. Now again, if I just do that without the step, that's easy cookies for her again. What I want to do is wrap it forward and take that step at the same time. So as the ball is coming, so does the foot. Okay, see that, how everything moves in synchronization? Boom, so now I can get past her and seal her off. Now I'm not foolish enough to think that just because you've got this, like this is just gonna work every time. Some defenders are really good with moving their feet and they're gonna jump back in front of you and try to stay tight to you yet and go after the basketball, right? Here's another thing you can add to this. Coming from this, popping that dribble and turning back a little more so I can go here, here, so now she can't get back to the basketball and I can set something else up and some counter moves, which is what we're gonna jump into next. So, wrapping and stepping here, getting into another dribble, and then from there, what you've got is a lot of options. When I come from this, and I come here, and notice how when I do that, I kind of pop the dribble and both feet go into this position. Trying to like pivot, that's gonna be a little bit slower. So if I can come from this, pop here, then I can pop it and turn back. From there, that's gonna give me some options and I can set things up since I'm doing this. When I come from this, if I see I've got an opportunity to maybe beat her on this side and the court is open, as I do this pop, I'm kind of moving ever so slightly here, so now I've got an angle to beat her here. First option is that, right there. Here, pop, and then I can pop back forward to beat her. Next option though is, I can come from this, pop, and move a little bit more to this side, so now I've got an angle to possibly beat her over here, but with my back to her, I gotta get something off, right? So I could either go from this into a spin move and just pull it back, or something that might be a little bit easier for some of you guys is to do this. Here, here, here. I carry there, you wanna keep your illegal dribble going, but pop, twist back, pop again, twist back, and try to continue to get a little bit of an angle this way while kind of indicating to the defender that everything's gonna happen this way, okay? 
So I'm looking here. Eyes are here, leaning here a little bit. And from there I can sell that bait to get a really kind of cement her into that spot over here. And now I can drive this one. If I can come from this, and if let's say I think I can get her jumping this way, if I sell a hard fake and I got space open here, I can just do something even easier. Come from this, pop hard, sell a fake here while I step forward this foot, and then go into the crossover. So a little bit different footwork, very similar effect, but the difference is the first one here where I kind of hopped and started working my way to this side. This one. I'm continuing to move to this side and trying to bait her to move that way and sell a hard fake, almost like an Iverson crossover, and then come to this side. So let's run through all your options because they're all great counter moves and that's what's going to make you unstoppable against tight defenders. So the first goes for the ball, I step through, drive past her. Again, making sure we step with the same side foot at the same time and wrapping that ball forward. Second option, she goes to the basketball record from here. She comes to this side, hop, turn, boom. Come back this way. Again, you could just do that as a pivot, but doing both feet will be a little bit quicker. And then from there, you can pop it and get the angle here. Again, use that pop to put yourself in a position where you can beat the defender this way. So I'm turning my shoulders back this way to make her think I'm coming there, but I'm kind of angling this foot here so I can easily swing this foot through. Next option is she goes to the basketball, I step through, pop, kind of come to this angle, pop, make her think I'm gonna go this way, cross over. Last option, same thing, she goes to the ball, I step through here, I take one more step here to really sell this fake, crossover. Now we all know though from these, there's pesky defenders that are gonna stay after it no matter what. The top comment down below that I'll have pinned has a playlist with a bunch of moves you can add in as counter moves, perfect moves to add in to the end of these. You'll definitely wanna watch every single one of those videos and every single one of those moves. Be sure you subscribe and turn on all notifications so you can continue to improve your game. I got a lot more videos coming for you so you can beat any defender. Hit that like button, drop me a comment, let me know what else you wanna see from the channel, and I We'll see you in that playlist next.